home team, New Toss, Richard Please, would you, do you want to call yeah. Tom? Yep. Heads. Heads is called. Heads called. It's come to the tail. We'll bat so, first. Yeah. Right. Toss one yeah. by Scotland, you're yeah. going to bat first. Yes. Okay, good guys. Fine, all the best. Cheers. Enjoy. Thanks, you. Cheers. Yes. All, the best. all the best. Cheers. Enjoy. It's obviously nice to be back after missing out on yesterday's, yesterday's game, but yeah, the boys played pretty well, so nice coming into the side after they've got a bit of confidence and hopefully we can get another, another win today. Um, just looking at it, it, looks like a pretty good deck. Obviously, it's quite an early start, but I think obviously hearing from the scores yesterday it seems like a pretty good surface. So hopefully, we can put a decent score on the board and then put them under a bit of pressure in the second innings. Um, I'm sure the boys have learned from yesterday. Uh, second time we're playing on this wicket, obviously. Um, team being together now for a couple of days, so um, that'll be good. Um, we're just looking to come back here and bounce back from uh, obviously a disappointing defeat yesterday, um, and hopefully we can go home with a good result here. After a comfortable victory in the 50-over match, a slightly changed Reavers took to the field in confident mood. Out went Tahir and Bellwood, and in came the experience of Majid Hack and skipper Richie Berrington. And Berrington and McLeod made a bright start. But it came to an abrupt end in the fourth over as McLeod went for a wander and lost his leg stump to Schifferley. Scott Beveridge didn't wait for the umpire to pull the trigger before beginning his walk after edging to Berezi first ball. So Schifferley on a hat-trick. Not to be. But the seafarers did not have long to wait for their next wicket. Captain Barrington who had shaken off injury to play, pulled out to Schifferley at long on, off the bowling of Stalkers. Manit Iqbal and Stuart Chalmers steadied the batting with a partnership of 56 that included a number of boundaries, but little of the big hitting one might expect for a T20 encounter. Finally, with a huge six that threatened the passing tourists to the Robert Burns Museum, Iqbal seemed to have found the middle. But almost as if the adrenaline proved too much for him, on the next ball he uncertainly chipped to stalkers at cover, and the Reavers were 88 for four. As the wickets fell, the run rate slipped. Chalmers was next to go, and quickly followed by Sharif, with Selar and Shifferley picking up the wickets respectively. With McElney departing for just two, the Reavers had slumped to 95 for seven, leaving Clydesdale's hack and Farid to see out a disappointing innings, with the Reavers finishing on 105 for seven.